The argument that somehow because Net Promoter subtracts off the bottom from the top, it loses information value over those metrics where you only measure the top two? Yeah. See, that's, that's ridiculous. The, there's a lot of power though in one number and that influenced the, the design quite a bit. Net worth is a powerful idea. Net profit is a powerful idea. Now just because you look at net profit though, it doesn't mean you forget about revenues and costs. Net promoter is the same thing. It's a bottom line number you can focus on and know when it's worth digging back into promoters, passives, detractors, root causes. Well look, if, it, it, it's very clear that if I have a lot of detractors, there's a ton of leverage in just stopping whatever it is I'm doing that creates detractors. Sure. Because the way the calculation works, there's just tremendous leverage in, in, in getting rid of the detractors. But once you've done that, then it becomes clear that the only way to grow your net promoter score is to create more promoters. Creating people who are excited about doing business with you seems to me like an obvious, exciting thing to do for any business leader or any frontline employee.